All right, admittedly, this one is gonna be a bit of an odd video, but I thought this tip was just too good for me to not share. So all year long, spiders leave webs all across the walls and the ceiling of my garage, which ends up gathering dust and grime and obviously dead bugs. And it makes the walls just look super dirty. And it's not even that bad in here. You should check out my patio. And if you've been dealing with this yourself as well, you know that it's not that straightforward to clean up. So after years of dealing with this, I think I found the easiest way to clean all this up and just as importantly, to keep it clean. Let's go. First, before we start, let's all recognize that spiders, for the most part, are harmless creatures that are actually really beneficial to the environment and the ecosystem around us. But, when it comes to my house... I'm the man up in this piece! I run shit here! You just live here! <laughs> okay, so that was definitely not worth 30 minutes of editing. But anyway, spider webs are constantly dirtying up my walls, getting on all my tools, and just I do not enjoy running into one of the contraptions in the dark. And to make matters worse, these webs can be really annoying to clean up. So just trying to pick them up using a paper towel can work, but it also tends to just embed the spider web into the painted wall, and if there's dirt on the web, which there almost always is since I do a lot of dirty stuff in this garage like painting and grinding, it leaves an ugly mark on the walls. And forget about trying to use this on wooden surfaces, as the spider webs just get caught by the fibers of the wood. It's uh, so annoying. And the only thing that I found to work reasonably well to get all of the spider webs off of the walls was taking bits of tape and blotting them on the wall, but this would just take forever if I wanted to clean the entire garage like this. The tape working reasonably well got me thinking though. I do have a lint roller in my closet that could be pretty good for this, and uh, I tried it, and it works pretty well. The lint roller isn't sticky enough to peel the paint off the wall unless it was flaking already, so there's no concerns of damage there. Uh, however, with the handle being kind of in an awkward spot, this was also a bit of a pain in the butt for covering large surfaces, and especially the ceiling. So naturally, I did some more research and I found this online. This is the Big Daddy Lint Roller. It is the Scotch-Brite Large Surface Lint Roller, meant for pet owners and spider haters alike. And if you feel like supporting a guy who's spending his Sunday making weird spider web videos, the product links are in the description below. This thing works fantastic to clean up spider webs super fast on almost any surface without damaging the wall, and the handle position also makes it super easy to use on the ceiling as well. And I used to have this stuff on Amazon subscription because the spider webs just really drive me crazy. And that brings us to the next question. If you can't keep your walls clean, what's the point of cleaning in the first place? How do we keep the spiders away? And I must tell you that in my borderline psychotic battle against spider bros, I tried all sorts of products and methods that claim to keep spiders and, and insects away, but here's the one product that I found to work reliably against spiders specifically. Miss Muffet's Revenge Spider Killer. This stuff is the real deal. After cleaning the area, you can spray the stuff on walls, especially around corners, edges, and crevices that spiders really like to set up their webs, and it pretty much works as advertised. After applying this, I've seen a dramatic decrease in the amount of spider webs that appear over time. Okay, check this out. I cleaned this wall literally one year ago, last spring, but in the corners, I sprayed this stuff, you know, just to test how well it would work because, you know, it's you know, admittedly, it's not cheap. And I don't have any photo evidence of what it looked like before, but you'll just have to take my word for it that these corners used to look like, you know, spider club med. This was like their favorite place to pitch a web in the garage, but after a full year, there's almost nothing here. And, you know, it's not perfect, like there's a little bit, but it's nothing compared to the middle of the wall or what it was like before. The product says it lasts 6 to 12 months, and I think I can vouch for that. And there you go. Were you planning to watch a video about spider webs today? Well, I wasn't planning on making a video like this today. Life is funny that way. 
If you found this helpful or at least amusing, give me a thumbs up or a subscribe. This channel is dedicated to learning new skills in the garage. I'll see y'all later.